All right, guys, an extra bonus video. Um, this is junction box, it's four and 11 sixteenths uh, deep. So anyways, <clears throat> someone was asking about how to make up junction boxes. I'm not gonna go through and show the whole thing being done, but this one's basically already done. I just have to stuff them in the box. But I do want to explain it a little bit, maybe if that's what you're asking, if you needed help or whatever. But basically this is the home run pipe, it goes back to the panel. So there are uh, four sets of wires in here and the person who did this did a good job and labeled them. So if not, then it would be a real big nightmare. Um, but basically this is what you do. You pull the wires in and you label them before you pull them in. So basically when you um, get ready to hook them with the fish tape or however you're putting them through the pipe, you label them and then you label them on both ends. So that way you know which wire goes to which. And then same thing with the wires coming into the box. So this is self-explanatory or super easy. So you got 34, 32, those are the circuit numbers. And then 38 and 36, sorry, this is focusing really weird. So uh, those are the circuit numbers. And then basically you just match the numbers. So circuit 34 goes to circuit 34 over there. And then you just follow them together. Sorry, I'm really not doing a good job of videoing this, but basically 34 to 34 and then 34 to 34. So neutrals together, hots together. Uh, you just repeat that. So 32 to 32, 34 to 34, 36 to 36, 38 to 38. And uh, basically, yeah, it's just tying the colors together. All the grounds go together. Uh, each scenario might be different, but in this, it's just a straight tie through. So that's the home run pipe. And then just these are the home run wires going to their destinations. So some of these go to the kitchens and stuff like plugs and stuff like that, dedicated plugs or um, a circuit of plugs or whatnot. So um, basically just tying them together and uh, that's about it. So grounds together and then the circuit number 38. So your hots together, 38 to 38 hot and then the neutrals 38 to 38. But unless you're sharing a neutral, uh, the other box I did over on the other side of this beam was sharing a neutral, but they obviously did a good job and taped them together. So basically it would be like this. So like you'd be sharing a neutral. Um, so it would be, the two hots would be taped together with the neutral. So you'd know you would be sharing the neutral, stuff like that. So um, yeah, let me try to explain that a little bit. So like the home run would, the home run neutral, the white one, would be uh, taped together with these and then basically your 38 and 36 or whatever number they are. You just take those two whites <clears throat> with this one white. So there would be three wires instead of just the normal two, like this right here. So I'm trying to grab the wrong wire, but anyways, instead of just two, it'd be three. So that might be an occurrence, but anyways, I'm probably gonna run out of video space for today's video, but I wanted to video this first because I'm up here and then I will go ahead and video, video the rest of the day and stuff I worked on. So anyways, and then I'll try to do the motiv motivation video. But anyways, just gonna stuff these in the box real quick and I probably won't show that just so I don't have to clip that together. But here is the, here's the lid right here. Panels 6A, 120 volts, circuits 32, 34, 36, 38. And don't judge me because that is very slanted. It's like, whoop. so anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. God bless, have a great weekend. Like the video, subscribe, and notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload our live stream. Thanks guys, see you later, have a great weekend, peace out.